everyone, today I'm going to be doing my July favourites and these are my absolute favourite videos to film. I always get really excited to just sit down and talk through my favourite products from the month. So I'm going to get started and I think I'm going to start with hair. This is a new launch from Bumble and Bumble. I absolutely love Bumble and Bumble products. I'm hardly ever really disappointed. This is an extension of their Invisible Oil range. They had like just the Invisible Oil which is a really nice lightweight oil and they've added a shampoo, conditioner and a primer. Shampoo I didn't love, I thought it was a bit heavy, ironically, it's meant to be kind of lightweight. The conditioner I really liked, but the star of the show was definitely the Heat UV Protective Primer. So this is a spray, it's quite a big bottle actually, and you just spritz this all over your hair when it's damp. I think you can use it when it's dry as well, but it's quite a wet spray, so I wouldn't be able to do that because it would just make my hair go curly. But you spray it all over your hair before you blow dry it or straighten it, and it protects the hair from heat, and it's also a really good detangler, so you, if you put it on wet hair when you come out of the shower, it makes it easier to brush through. It's not as amazing at detangling as my Unite 7 Seconds Detangler, but using this with the wet brush, which is my all-time favourite hairbrush, um, really works to help get through all the knots. So I've been loving this, and it smells amazing as well. Oh, it smells so delicious. I've also been loving these hairbands that I picked up from Boots. They're from the brand Scunchie. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's got like a one of those funny U's that I don't really know what that means when it has two dots over it. These are no slip grips, so they're kind of a funny like silicone texture and I find they don't break. A lot of the time hairbands like break, which is really annoying. There's no end to them, so it doesn't kind of kink the hair. They grip really well to the hair, so if you find your hairband slip out of your ponytail, these would be really good for you. I actually gave some to Anna because she always complains about her hairband falling out. Because they are grippy, they can slightly pull on the hair, so you have to be careful when you take them out. But for me, as long as you're careful, I think it's worth it to have a really good hairband that you can also put around your wrist and it doesn't look too much like a hairband. Okay, now onto skincare. And the first thing is this eye makeup remover from The Body Shop. It's part of their chamomile range. I really like the chamomile cleansing oil. It's the most amazing product for taking off makeup. But this is really good for removing eye makeup. And I actually struggle to find good eye makeup removers. I love the Clarins one, but it is pricey. And I've tried a lot of drugstore ones that I haven't been that happy with, but this one's really amazing. It's not quite as good as the Clarins one. You need kind of a few extra swipes, but it's, it's nearly as good, it really is. And it's so much more affordable. It's kind of the same, it's like split into two, so it's like an oil consistency, so it really gets rid of that kind of waterproof mascara. It's really affordable, really gentle on the eyes, and I've been using a lot of this, I love it. I've also been obsessed with my Sarah Chapman Intense Hydrating Booster Serum. I've been using this every morning, and most nights, sometimes I use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair in the evening. This is more of a morning serum for me because it really adds that like boost of hydration that I need under my makeup so things don't start to look dry and dehydrated throughout the day. It comes in this really easy packaging so you only need a couple of drops. It's one of those serums that really spreads around your face really easy. It's not sticky at all. I actually really went off Hydroluron. I used it for ages, but then it started to just feel a little bit too sticky for me, and I think this feels much nicer on the skin. It's a lot more expensive, but I think it's worth it. If you're going to invest in your skincare, I think serum is definitely the thing to invest in and get a drugstore moisturiser. Now onto makeup, and I have a few makeup items and a few makeup tools as well. The first one is this brush cleaner, and I mentioned this in my Liberty Boots haul video. I bought this in Liberty Beauty haul, and it's the Goat Milk Brush Shampoo. I was really excited to try this. I've still got the label on it. It was £16. You just screw the lid off, and you wet your brush, and you wet this, and then you swirl your brush in it, and then you just wash this under the sink, and it goes back to being clean. And I was really surprised at how quickly it made my brushes clean. Normally I use Dr. Bronner's soap and I put it on my hand and I have to swirl it around for a while, keep rinsing, keep swirling, keep rinsing. But this was literally a case of like swirl, rinse and it was clean. It also made my brushes feel so soft, which is what I was hoping it would do because of the goat milk. And I was really impressed. I think this is great for, it's like an in-between spot cleaning and deep cleaning because deep cleaning I feel like is a longer process. They take a lot longer to dry because you're putting them under the tap but spot cleaning can dry out your brushes, so this is a really good in-between. I know I've spoken about this product a lot in my past few videos, but how could I not mention it in my monthly favourites? It's the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. This is the liquid liner, and I've been using this pretty much every day this month. I've got, well, apart from today, that always happens. I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner today, but I have just become obsessed with wearing black eyeliner again, and this is my favourite one. I do like the Revlon one, and I do like the Soap and Glory one for drugstores, but for high-end, this is definitely the best one I've tried. It's double-ended, but I don't actually use the small end because I find it's just a little bit too small, but the long end is perfect for that really easy black liquid line, 
and it's just it's weighted as well, a bit like their mascaras, if you can see. Oh, you probably can't see, but it's kind of weighted, so it's really easy to hold in your hand. Another makeup item that I've been wearing most days this month, and I haven't actually spoken about it, I don't know why, but I have been wearing it loads. It's the YSL Eye Quad in, it's one of their Couture Eye Quad palettes in number two. I don't think it says what shade it is, but it's number two. It looks like this, and it's just got a really nice combination of shades. It's got a highlighting shade, a light brown, a medium brown, a darker brown, and then a kind of grey tone that you can use for an eyeliner. And the quality of YSL eyeshadows are amazing. It's just a really cute little quad, and it's kind of, it's one of those that hasn't got any shades in it that I wouldn't wear, and I've been wearing them all, they're really soft and buttery, and it's a very small, compact palette, so I've been loving that. I think these palettes are new to YSL. The final favourite is something I picked up in the sale recently and it's from Whistles. This was half price and I've seen that there are still some in a few stores. I was so excited when I found this. It's a makeup bag. I really don't need any more makeup bags but I'm obsessed with buying makeup bags. They're definitely my thing. So on the back it's just plain black leather and then on the front it's this sort of linen-y material type thing in a really bright coral and then the top is leather and it says Whistles. It's, it's really nice and big, it's still got the stuffing in there. But you can fit a lot in and it's just so cute and for a leather makeup bag that was half price, I thought this was a really good find and I'm excited to use it, although I don't know when I will because I never leave my house with makeup, but I love makeup bags. So those are my favourites from July. Comment down below and let me know what your one ultimate favourite has been this month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!